वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द बेसिक डिफरेंस इज इन बिटवीन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर हियर आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू वॉट इज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड वॉट इज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड हाउ बोथ आर डिफरेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ईच अदर देर आर सम सिमिलरिटीज इवन बट here our major focus is there based on what are the differences so when we talk about microprocessor my dear students it is a single chip which is used to execute programs here our agenda is to execute instructions by using microprocessor microprocessor does not have input output peripherals microprocessor does not have memory within it but when we talk about micro controller so microcontroller do have some memory in its one package so as if you observe one chip of microcontroller so it is having memory inside in which you can store the program so this is what the basic difference you will be observing with microcontroller there will be timers inside that single chip while with microprocessor you don't have timer inside you will be having input output peripherals connection with that micro controller but that will not be available with micro processor so this is the major difference let me explain you all the basic differences one by one so it will be more clear so my dear students when we talk about micro processor and micro controller then you see micro processor contains cpu and you will be observing memory io interfacing and timers those are separately provided with microprocessor but when we talk about microcontroller so in that cpu memory io timers all those things that is available in a single chip now if you see how designer is selecting microprocessor so once designer is identifying particular microprocessor designer can decide how much memory can be interfaced as well as how much input output handling capacity is used over here with this given computer system but when we talk about microcontroller in that you will be having fixed size of rom ram and io as it is there with single chip but with microprocessor we can decide how much size of rom and ram that could be interfaced right so this is major advantage of microprocessor in which we can have a facility of upgradation that is not possible with microcontroller now when we talk about multitasking then you will be observing microprocessor is way better in multitasking compared to microcontroller now you will be observing this microprocessor that is used for general purpose like you can do many things like by my computer what i do is i perform video editing i perform making of ppt i perform making of programs designing of antennas many things that i perform and i can say that is general purpose but with microcontroller i need to be very specific i cannot do many things as it is possible with microprocessor it is what therefore specific purpose when we talk about architecture then with microprocessor mostly von neumann architecture is been seen but there are some microprocessor that is available with howard architecture but mostly you will be observing von neumann is there and i am talking about this in 2022 so it is possible that after 2022 you may be observing harvard may take over over von neumann that is possible right so architecture will be von neumann mostly with microprocessor and howard mostly with microcontroller now when we talk about speed and cost then microprocessor is having very high speed of operation and cost is also very high and microcontroller cost is relatively low as well as it is having lower speed of operation it requires more hardware to be interfaced with microprocessor as it is having only one chip 
and it does not include memory, I/O, and timers. So all those things that we need to interface it with microprocessor. So it requires more hardware to be interfaced with microprocessor. While with microcontroller, you will be observing it is having CPU, memory, I/O, timer on a single chip. So you will be having less requirement of interfacing of hardware. So by board C1, you can observe by AVR microcontroller on a single board, there are many things, but you will be observing board of microprocessor that will be very huge. I'm showing you that by graphics over here, you can see board of microprocessor and board of microcontroller. So that, we, that will gives you more clear idea like why it is having more interfacing, right? So microprocessor mostly does not support single bit addressability and microcontroller that supports single bit addressability that you will be observing why the reason is when you perform some projects by microcontroller in that you may need to operate with single LED or you may need to operate with single switch. So all those things that we do it with microcontroller. That's why there is a need of single bit addressability. But when we talk about microprocessor, so that is not designed to perform simple tasks like operation of one switch or operation of single LED, something like that. Here we are interfacing complex devices, right? Here we will be talking about graphics and all those things. That's why mostly you'll be observing microprocessor does not provide single bit addressability. Now, let me give you some examples like 8085, 8086, Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, AMD processors are available in the market. While when we talk about microcontroller, so 8051, AVR, PIC and ARM microcontrollers are available. In ARM, microprocessors are also available, but uh, ARM microcontroller are also very famous microcontrollers. That's why I have listed it over here. So my dear students, here what you can understand is by having microprocessor, you can perform huge tasks. You can perform tasks based on graphics, based on high definition games, based on designing of many programs. You can design antenna, you can design 3D models in microprocessors. But when we talk about microcontroller, at that time we are performing lower category of tasks. Like you can have serial communication with 2 kbps speed, 3 kbps speed, this kind of operations that we can have, like we can have projects based on pressing of key, identification of LEDs blinking or not, or you can have some basic projects based on generation of sine wave, square wave, all those things that we do it by having microcontroller. But higher computational task that we usually perform with microprocessor. Why the reason is it is having higher capabilities and here one more thing that you should know that is microprocessor does not have memory inside as well as it does not have timers and all those things. All those things that we interface externally with microprocessor. While in case of microcontroller, there will be timers, IO ports as well as there will be memory inside so that directly one can be able to program microcontroller. So for small scale task, we should be using microcontroller. For complex task, we should be going for microprocessor. This is how you should be approaching towards microcontroller and microprocessor. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.